witness stand for the first time this morning, and so far he's been placing the blame for the lane closures on one of his subordinates who he says convinced him it was part of a legitimate traffic study. Bill Baroni entering federal court in Newark this morning to take the witness stand, testifying today in his own defense. Baroni and Governor Chris Christie's former Deputy Chief of Staff, Bridget Ann Kelly, are both facing federal charges for allegedly helping to orchestrate the lane closures in Fort Lee, leading to the George Washington Bridge in September of 2013. Baroni telling the court today that the lane closures were David Wildstein's responsibility. Wildstein was appointed to the Port Authority by Governor Chris Christie. Peroni says when he got calls from Fort Lee's mayor wondering the reason for the traffic backups, he says he reached out to Wildstein, who technically worked under him. But Peroni claims Wildstein convinced him not to return the mayor's calls or emails, telling him that the lane closures were part of an important traffic study. Last week, prosecutors wrapped their case with this video testimony of Baroni from 2013, where New Jersey legislators questioned Baroni about the timing of the lane closures, which Baroni insists were part of a legitimate traffic study. Why September? I mean, this, this has existed for years. As I said in my opening remarks, at some point in late July, members of the Port Authority police uh, spoke to David Wildstein. The testimony that he gave was a cover-up, and it really wasn't even a good one because it was so easily dismantled. Wildstein, who has taken a plea deal in the case, insists the study was a front, a cover-up that Baroni signed off on. The motive, to punish the mayor of Fort Lee, who had not endorsed Governor Christie for re-election. Well, before the trial is over, Bridget and Kelly is expected to take the witness stand as well. Both Kelly and Baroni face nine federal charges, including conspiracy and fraud. Mary? Janelle Burrell, thank you.